it's Chia and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna show you a simple tutorial on the basic of using design expert 11 so massive shout out to those who know about this software who have advanced knowledge please skip this video this video is not meant for you guys this is for a total beginners for design expert 11 so without further ado we're gonna launch the design expert 11 version so this is the layout of the software and now we're gonna go for good new design click on it and this is all the details that are available in this software you can go for numerous types of response and now i'm gonna go for the response surface under this i'm gonna go for central composite there are also other options available box box banken and more so now click on the central composite so under this central composite the main important thing that you must do is specify the numeric factor all the parameters that you use in your experiment so in mine i'm using three with no category factor category factor is your factor that doesn't involve numbers for example an option whether whether it is true or false or any etc so now i'm moving on on the details of my factors factors so a will represent temperatures and b will represent molar ratio whereas c will represent the catalyst used in my experiment so moving on to the unit it is up to you whether you want to specify the unit or you can leave it blank it doesn't affect the results later so for temperature i'm gonna use celsius moderation and catalyst i'm gonna use in the form of percentage and now i'm moving to the constraint the low and high constraint that is referred to your respective um, numeric factor so for temperature the lower value that I'm gonna put is 100 degrees Celsius and it's high or the maximum value will be 140 degrees Celsius so for molar ratio I'm gonna specify the minimum as 0 0.5 and the highest is 2 catalyst 3 to 5 percent so you can see that the alpha value is different with the low and high constraint that I'm put and we can change it later So now I have a total 19 set of experiments that are gonna be conduct. So for the type I'm using full with the block of one which is which is now block. So now to change the value of alpha, we're gonna go to click on the options. So we can see that from this the replication, replication can be divided of three types, which are the replication and vector point star point and center point so for the factorial and star point i'm gonna leave it as one and i'm gonna change this center point to four i'm doing some um literature review before this and they say according to, to the reading that i've made they say the base center point lies between two to four so now i have a total of 18 experiments so for the alpha to change the value of alpha i must specify what type of alpha that i use so basically in this in this case i'll be using face centered which is one face centered means the length for the factorial point to the center point are same as the length of the axial point to the center point so once you finish with all the setting you just click OK and press Next. Next, we're gonna go for the response. You can have multiple or numerous response, but in my case, I use one response, which I name it as yield with a unit of percentage now you can click on finish and this is the layout of your total experiment 
which you have a total of 18 experiments so the response yield you must conduct the experiment and key in all the data manually by using all the parameter that has been set by design expert for example this run number one it specified temperature at 100 degrees celsius similar ratio at 2 and the catalyst is 5 when you have the response you can fill all the data and then we can go for the analysis ANOVA analysis and then we can go for the optimization so that's all for today's tutorial thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe on my channel thank you